First of all, we're very proud of Diego. He has done such an amazing job. One of the things that's important to highlight is he had to do the work behind the application. It's not just a matter of wanting to go somewhere, going off to college, whichever college it is. I know at our Academy of Health Science Professions in STEM, whether you're in health science or in STEM, the students take an AVID class. And I know the teachers uh, do a really good job of making sure the kids do those things. So in Diego's case, he did the work. He has the scores. He's a hardworking student. He filled out the applications. He took his ACT exam. He got the scores that he needed. So when it came time to apply, he knew the resources because he had a class dedicated to that, but he took advantage of the resources that were available. I will highlight that MIT doesn't accept everybody. And I think that's why we're making it a point to highlight Diego today. You'll have 21,000 applicants and they'll accept about 1,000. So 20,000 get letters of rejection where only 1,000 get accepted. So it's about four to 6% that they accept at MIT. He wants to pursue a career in the STEM professions and what better place to do it than MIT and that was his goal. MIT has always been my dream goal. I've always wanted to go to MIT and I put in the work. I wrote all the essays that were required of me, answered all the questions, submitted any admission materials they needed and I received the good news from the QuestBridge website. My status was updated and I checked and I saw that I got matched and I was thinking oh wow I got matched and then I saw that it was MIT and immediately I started telling all my friends and then I asked to be excused to go tell all my other teachers and everyone who I know has helped me get to where I am right now. I feel very excited. I am absolutely thrilled. I really want to pursue a further education and to get to do it at MIT of all schools is just a dream come true. The Academy of Health Science Professions and STEM, I feel has offered me a lot of opportunities, specifically in my math classes. Math has always been one of my favorite subjects and getting offered so many classes to take allowed me to really like advance my skills in the math field. It's helped me out in my other fields, whether it be computer science, engineering, and getting to actually try hands-on practical engineering through robotics club. It's really helped me actually like get a feel for what I'm going to be doing in my future career and make sure that I really want to do that. That was also part of my inspiration to go to a school like MIT, which offers some of the best classes for engineering, computer science, and the STEM field. I want to give a very specific thanks to my math teacher, Mr. Todd Steckler. My math skills could not be where they are today without him. I want to give a thanks to all of my friends. They've definitely supported me on my way here. They've always encouraged me and told me that I can do more than what I currently am. Other thanks to my other teachers. They've really all played a huge role into my current interests and where I am in my current skill set. A thank you to La Jolla ISD and the Academy of Health Science Professions and STEM for really allowing me to thrive in my current situation, giving me all these opportunities with wonderful teachers and wonderful classes that really got me to where I am today. Very proud of Diego. We here at the Academy of Health Science Professions and STEM and all of our staff are very happy for Diego and his acceptance to MIT.